Hi, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet, Brad. In our opinion, of course. In our opinion. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about the top three ways to make exercise a habit. Right. This is a big issue, isn't you it? You better believe it, because it, uh, it took me quite a while, actually. Yep. It's all, all a psychological thing. The first one is very simple, and it seem, may seem, uh, you know, not even anything I need to mention, but a lot of people don't seem to understand this. One, you need to do it at the same time every day. Yeah, if you're going to make something a habit, you don't want to do it at 8 o'clock one day, 9 o'clock another day. You know, it just it, it just doesn't become a habit. Right, right, right. Very difficult to do. Um, the other thing is, in that same category of doing it at the same time every day, don't pick a time of day where you're going to fail. Don't right. pick, you know, if, you, if you're tired always after supper, or after dinner or whatever, right. you don't pick that time because how many times are you gonna you're gonna get there and go? I'm just too tired. Right. Or if it's easy to make excuses to yeah. Start. <laughs> if you pick a time of day that you're most likely where something else is gonna come up that's gonna take priority or priority over your exercise, yeah. then you're gonna fail. Yeah. I mean, just and that's why I think a lot of people exercise in the morning. Wouldn't you say that, Brad? Well, that works for me. Although I can do it after work because I either do it. Right away in the morning, or right away when I get home from work. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. So it kind of fits in there. And, and like I think we were talking about before, is in the morning I am not awake when I, I just feel yeah. like what? Like this morning I'm stumbling around. Uh, so what I do with my first exercise, I lay down on my back, which feels pretty good anyway, because mm -hmm. I feel like falling asleep. And I take my exercise ball and I start doing some reverse crunches or some reverse sit-ups with the ball, so I'm still feeling comfortable. And after about 10, 20 of those, it gets my heart rate up, and I start with heart start to wake up. I have the TV on, and usually within uh, three minutes, I'm feeling like I'm ready to go. See, and Brad, are, you're not a morning person, or you are? No, no, okay, I'm neither am I. Really. And I, it's, not, it's funny, because we just talked about this this morning for the first time. I do somewhat similar. I get up, and the first thing I do is I just lay down, and I start stretching. And so I'm just... I'm really not awake yet, but I, I start stretching and it slowly wakes me up. And then I'll even maybe go shave, you know, do something, believe it or not. And then I go back into stretching a little yeah. more. Now that's weird for me. If I'm starting to shave, I'm thinking about going to work. Right. Everyone's got their own little... Right, but it's, a, it's become a habit for me. And, and by that point, I'm, I'm starting to wake up. And sure. So pick the same time every day. Yep. Don't give you... That. It's another reason to fail is if you're picking an outdoor exercise, uh, you better have an alternative. Right. Because... You're going to fail then, especially in Minnesota, where it's 20, what, was 20 below last yesterday? Yeah, whatever, 10 below, 20, it's so on. It's nice and warm in Wisconsin, right. I'm sure. Right. Yeah, or across the river, it's fine. So, uh, you, you know, you're going to have to have a treadmill, you're going to have to have something, if you're going to do cardio, you're going to have something indoors so you don't, can't fail that way. Right. Give yourself an excuse. Second thing, you got to have a cue to remind you. Now, if, especially if it's uh, in the afternoon, and, and what I I do one exercise a day, where a set of exercise where I actually get home after work and I I'm, I'm changing my clothes and my theraband is sitting there. Mm -hmm. So I, I do a few just strengthening exercises sure. right there. That's that cue to remind you to do the exercise. Yeah. The alarm clock in the morning could be your cue. Yeah, so that's, so. that's what I use. The alarm clock in the morning, and again when I get home from work, if I'm gonna. Go right in the summertime, of course. I'm going to ride my bike. I just, I've got to go start changing clothes and, and get right into it. Right. Once I start that initial phase of getting into those those biking clothes, then I'm fine. It's all a psychological battle here. Oh, yeah. You've got to win the battle. Yeah. Third thing is you want to give yourself, and this is bas basically a lot of this information is based on, I think the book's called The Habit and how to, to make a habit yeah. out of things. One, you want, you want to give yourself, a third, three things, you want to give yourself a, a small reward. No, oh, right. Yeah. So for me, and Brad thinks this maybe sounds stupid, but in the morning, after I work out, I get to eat breakfast and I get to read the paper. And it seems I really I don't think enjoy that it. sounds stupid. So I'm just, I believe it or not, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm getting ready to exercise, I'm thinking, okay, when I'm done, I get to do that. Yeah, I know what you mean. You just kind of tie the two together. Yeah, yeah. So something pleasant, That's maybe that you're going to do reward. already, but uh, give yourself a reward. Mm -hmm. If it's at night, you know, maybe a little drink or a snack or something that you get to do after you... You've a dark beer. A dark beer. Yeah, I, go ride by, I go home, ride my bike, ride hard 20 miles. Hey, I'm thinking I deserve a beer before I eat. Right. It's okay. It's healthy, too, if you don't drink That's right. Back. That's right. One a day. <laughs> Maybe two. All right. Take care.